going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another episode of Mail Time. Hey. This is the second episode since the Mail Time comeback and if this is a thing that you guys want to get yourselves involved in where you have send me anything you like, the PO Box address is on screen as of right now. We have three big boy packages as well as a letter to open up. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So first up we have a little letter right here from Travis. Thank you dearly Travis. I am shocking when it comes to opening things. I apologize. So it's letter inside a letter. Very cool. Uh, I like how he's done New Zealand right here with the uh, with the crown up the top. Very neat, very on brand. Okay, so the letter right here says, Hello Jared, my name is Travis, and I hope you find this letter entertaining, so let's begin. First, remember that Phantom Aqua video? I wonder if you could do it one about the worst Kingdom Hearts mini games ever, Ice Cream Beat. I like ice cream as much as the next guy, but man, that mini game is tedious. I'd rather battle Demix 10 times. No one likes ice cream bean. Just because it's plain and simple, it doesn't work. It doesn't work! So Travis is talking about new worlds for Kingdom Hearts 4 right here, and first of all mentions Darkwing Duck. Now, I don't really have any experience with Darkwing Duck. I don't also think that Square Enix would go ahead and incorporate any of the TV Disney shows. Uh, into Kingdom Hearts as worlds. I feel like they're kind of better served as cameos, but I'd totally be down on a Darkwing Duck cameo. Uh, he also mentions how Moana set up in the same way as the Caribbean was set up in Kingdom Hearts 3. I would absolutely love Moana to be in Kingdom Hearts 4 or a future Kingdom Hearts game. It would be a beautiful world. And yes, I could imagine it would be set up maybe in a similar way to that of the Caribbean. Let us explore all of the islands. Uh, definitely a lot of the themes that are tackled there in Moana would fit really well with Kingdom Hearts 2, as most of them do in most Disney films. But I can't imagine the gods being incorporated um, into the world and they are possessed by some means. You have to end up fighting them like they actually did at the end of Moana with the, I forget the name of it, but the uh, the giant lava sort of god thing. Um, yeah, would be absolutely incredible. Now Coco as well would be fantastic given the fact that it tackles the themes of obviously the dead. And considering right now that Sora is actually dead, going into that of the realm of the dead would make a lot of sense. I think Coco, as of where the Kingdom Hearts story is right now, that too, and like the world would definitely be something very different compared to what we've actually seen before in any of the other Kingdom Hearts games when it comes to worlds. And yeah, Jungle Book, I mean, Jungle Book was attempted for Birth by Sleep, right? It's literally within the files. It was going to be a world, but never actually saw the light of day. So yeah, surely at some point throughout this next saga, we will see Jungle Book in some shape or form, whether or not it's a world or maybe just a summon or a cameo appearance or something like that. I really do hope you see Jungle Book too. Thank you so much for the letter though, dude. I would absolutely love to do worst mini games because there are some pretty bad ones there. So that might be in the pipeline. Package number one. <sighs> oh yeah, I know, I know what this is. This is gonna start to become a problem. I can, I can just feel it. Holy sh <coughs> This cardboard's got fluffies, man. What the f is this? I've never seen cardboard do this. I didn't know cardboard could, could do this. What? That is a f***ing smoke bomb in here, man. Holy sh Oh my god, dude. This is no- <laughs> Woo! Cinnamon Toast Crunch! Oh. Oh sh The bag just fell out. <laughs> That's a weak cardboard ass. Look at this! What? The screaming goose is this! We have a little letter here saying, Dear Cynical, I'm a big fan, have been for a good few years now. I wanted to send something to you for the first time on top of sending a box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I made you a picture. One side is a forge that makes swords and chicken. And I dare, I'm dedicating to you. This right here is a forge that makes swords and chicken. That's a very interesting combo, but that's probably a very good uh, business venture right there. I mean... I don't know if people so much need swords nowadays, uh, but that could be the novelty factor, but I know for a fact people need chicken. The other side is a keyblade inspired by all the turkey and chicken slapping. Hope you continue to recover, and you always help make me smile. This right here is from Count Guardian. Thank you so much for the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, man. Hell yeah, dude. I'm drowning in this stuff as of right now, but I am definitely not complaining about it. This is me when I eat the cereal. Happy boy. Ah! Box number two! Okay, the defense mechanisms on this one's a little bit more high-tech. Oh my god, dude. I, like, I... 
I probably shouldn't have said, Yo, guys, this is an SOS. Send me Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm, I need it. I'm feeding it. Because, uh... I, I can't eat all of this cereal. I honest, I cannot. Holy sh**. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, look at the box on this. Packs? They make ultra mega thick boy boxes of cereal? The, the more you know, I'm learning stuff about planet Earth, man. Oh, cereal with sugar and cinnamon. Yeah. This one says, hey, Cynical, I hope you enjoy the care package. I want to say I've been a fan of yours since around early 2015. That's an OG viewer. And you've always been one of my favorite YouTubers. When I started watching your channel, I was interested in hearing Kingdom Hearts news and information. I wanted to hear others' ideas and theories about my favorite franchises. But in the process, I found one of the most authentic and goofiest personalities out there. <laughs> Thank you, dude. I do try. I do try. And because of that, I was engaged with your content and decided to stick around. You have a great personality and should decide to do other content besides just Kingdom Hearts. I think as long as you stay true to yourself, you will make it no matter what you put your mind to. So I'm not going to read out the second part of this letter just because it's a little bit more personal. But thank you so much, Jacob, for sending me a crazy amount of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And on top of that, too, I wish you all the best with everything going on in your life. It means the absolute world to me that I can put a smile on your face and help you out through tough times. Uh, that really is one of the biggest and most wholesome things for me here on the channel is the fact that if I can give people a, uh, a slight break from the real world and put a smile on their face to help them kind of forget about these struggles in day-to-day -day life, then I think I'm doing my job right. Well, this bad boy is a box number three. So this one's kind of special. This one is from a uh, longtime viewer of mine, Zay. Uh, they have been messaging me to ensure that I receive this, and I do. It's hair. I'm looking forward to opening this. They're very excited for me to receive this. So let's whip it open. Yeah, I know I opened the boxes like a four-year-old. Leave me alone. Ah. Oh. Hell yeah, dude! Oh my god. Bro, we... <laughs> okay. Fellas? I'm, a... <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys know I don't need any more Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm good. I, I, I think I'm... I... Yeah, no, I am... I'm good. Maybe just one more box, you know? F it. One more box. Someone could send me one more... No, please don't send me one more box. I'm good. <sighs> Sugar and cinnamon! I haven't seen these ones, though. This is uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Minis. And what's cool about this is this is actually a Swedish pack of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which is a little bit more unique. Oh my god. Okay, so there is a good amount of stuff in here. Holy- wait, 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 wait. So, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix with the sleeve. With the sleeve. Now, I have always wanted a copy with the sleeve. I actually do own Final Mix. But I don't own a copy with the original sleeve that comes along with it. I know, I'm such a nerd. I'm like, I need the edition that has the sleeve. I have always wanted this. This is actually insane. Look, look, look how it does its sleeve thing, man. And here's a copy of Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix, which I do not have. I do have the Japanese uh, normal version. This is obviously the non-Final Mix version. Uh, but I, I don't actually own a singular version of Final Mix. Look at that box art. This is literally one of the coolest Tetsu Yunomura arts that I feel like he's ever done. The fact that it is used for a box art is great. It's just it is only exclusive to Japan. Absolutely incredible. Look at that, man. That is so cool, man. Like, even the, uh, the flag artwork is on the manual. Oh my god, dude. What? The shadow- THE SHADOW PLUSHIE?! THE SHADOW PLUSHIE?! So, this right here is the plush that comes with the Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Collector's Edition. I have, again, always wanted one of these. It's, it's like Christmas come early, dude. This is the shadow that I do own, but you might notice it's bootleg. This- this is not official by any means. It is a bootleg shadow. I think it's still kind of cute. But, uh, to get an actual official one... That's badass, man. That is badass. Let me get you out of that plastic. You must be, like, suffocating. Good God. Look at that. Oh, he's, he's little dangly legs. Look at his little dangly arms and legs. Oh, that's fantastic. Nah, 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 nah. Holy shit. 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 Duck-breasted beef bone salad. <laughs> Nah, man. <laughs>
So I haven't uh, acquired a play art, so really even a bring arts in like actual years. Like in actual years. Zay, this is too much, man. This is, <laughs> this, is, this, is <laughs> this is too much, man. But uh, this one in particular is kind of insane. The Dream Drop Distance play arts Kai's are kind of a bit of a rarity now, more so than the usual play arts, and especially because this is the Tron one, uh, which I have never physically seen in my life at all this is actually crazy and also the fact now that like square enix don't make uh play arts kais it's all just the bring arts figures to see this is absolutely incredible that is actually incredible man i always appreciate how uh how well they do like the actual boxing and they give you like information and lore uh, to do with the figure that you get in the box the packaging is just absolutely immaculate look at that man look at that it's beautiful and yeah there is also a uh, riku version as well i believe there's uh four total dream drop distance playouts figures but these are definitely becoming more and more expensive and definitely more and more rare as time goes on uh i can't believe i am holding this yeah that's actually crazy all right not too sure what this is um Oh, light up yo-yo? Wait a minute. The Monster Zinc yo-yo, the Keyblade transformation? Okay. I'm gonna show off my yo-yoing skills, but I'm just gonna let you guys know I am dog sh I remember people talking about these when Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, was about to come out. I believe around that time, somewhere around that time anyway. It's super cool how they actually made a yo-yo to go along with the Keyblade transformation. I haven't done this since I was eight years old. Oh sh Oh, look at it go. Yeah, it's a matter of pulling it back up that I really struggle with. I, I never got that down on pat. I know, I've probably got like the whole stance, the yo-yo stance all wrong. Let's try again. I mean, I can catch it. It's just flicking the uh, thing back up. Next, we have a Square Enix pen. I don't know why, but this is super cool. I don't know how you got a Square Enix pen, uh, Zay, but like... Thank you, dude. This is now the, the coolest pen I own. I will make sure to write all of my shopping lists with the- oh, it lights up! Okay, this- this is officially the coolest pen I think I've actually ever seen. Not own, now actually ever seen. The Square Enix logo lights- uh, what? Why? That's so cool, but, but- but why? We have an Avengers lanyard. I kind of do collect lanyards, um, so this is kind of cool. Thank you. I'm not really into Dragon Quest, but surprisingly enough, I do actually own a few different Dragon Quest items. It is a franchise, even though I know it's turn-based, uh, that I do want to try and involve myself more into. I'm yet to actually sit down and properly play a Dragon Quest game. I do own a few of them, so I'm going to do that at some point soon. But this right here is a uh, little, I think it's like a drink um, cooler. So like you put your drink in this and it will keep it cool. We have another Kingdom Hearts 3 light up yo-yo. Don't need to open it, you guys have already seen it, but thank you for a second one, man. We have a little shadow uh, key ring. This came out during the time of Kingdom Hearts 3's release. I believe it was actually a pre-order bonus at some places uh, for KH3. For some reason, we have the steelbook of Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate, <laughs> which is so funny, so good. I don't own the physical of FF7 Remake, so uh, this is actually kind of cool. And also, too, I will pick up the physical because I do want to add it to my collection. This will go nicely alongside it. Thank you so much. It's a very nice looking steel book uh, as well, so I appreciate that, Zay. Okay, so this right here is a Marvel Avengers shirt. Likely, uh, I'm guessing Zay probably ended up getting this uh, around the time that Marvel Avengers came out from Square Enix. This is definitely not going to fit me, but it might cast, so thank you. Now, these are really cool. Um, I don't know how Zay got this. All right, Community Days of Square Enix. So Square Enix plays 2022, uh, and these are the different locations uh, throughout Europe. I've never seen these tops, and I don't actually own a Square Enix, like, with the Square Enix logo top. So that is actually really really cool i am certainly going to add that to the wardrobe i love the colors to the uh the light blue with the pink 
very neato. Thank you. And these uh, definitely will fit me. Zay, thank you so much for an absolutely insane package to uh, get both of those final mixes. Uh, the Shadow Plush, the uh, Play Arts Kai is completely insane and everything else you sent, uh, as well as even including a big XXL pack of Cinnamon Toast Crunch minis. <laughs> Cinnamon and sugar. However, oh, guys, that is another episode of Mail Time right there. Thank you so much to everyone that got involved in the second comeback episode. As I was saying, if this is something you guys want to get involved in, I'll leave the PO Box address on screen as of right now. I really appreciate this, whether it be your letters or the cool gifts that you do send to me, because uh, for one, a lot of the stuff that you guys have sent me over time are quite expensive and from time to time can also be quite rare items when it comes to Kingdom Hearts or other things. Uh, but not just that, um, also sending stuff to my country is very expensive, so just the shipping alone uh, I, I know is right up there. It means a lot to me that you would spend that kind of money on me uh, to feature in one of these or just to send me something. So it warms my heart. Thank you guys so much. I love you all. I appreciate. Come on, come, come here. I'll, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you a hug. Give you a hug. There we go. There we go, buddy. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. You do need a shower, though. However, right, guys, with all that being said, I'm cynical. Hopefully, I'm a damn good one, and I'll catch you next time. Puppies. Peace.